It is a truth universally acknowledged that the world uses too much plastic and it takes too long to degrade. Right, that we agree on. So you say, let's use biodegradable plastic. Then we can feel like we're doing our part for the planet. It's biodegradable, so it must just disappear into nature. But hold on, is it also simple? Take a look at this study led by researchers at the University of Plymouth. Four bags with biodegradable properties and one conventional plastic bag, all of them exposed to either air, soil or sea. You'd think they'd degrade, but not exactly. After three years, some of the biodegradable ones were still usable, strong enough to carry groceries in certain cases. And the key point is that, that none of those materials could be relied upon to, to sufficiently degrade over that time. The compostable bag showed the fastest signs of, of deterioration, but even, even then, even with that bag in the soil, it was still present even after, after three years. Let's clarify something. In theory, everything will degrade over time, even traditional plastic bags. 100 years, a diaper, half a century. It's all a question of how long. Biodegradable plastic is made of a particular type of plastic designed to degrade more quickly. But for it to work, it needs oxygen, humidity and bacteria to digest it. And often in landfill, where our biodegradable bags end up, the conditions simply aren't there. And so yes, your bag will eventually degrade, but not as fast as you might imagine. And worse, without the right conditions, it could end up emitting methane, a greenhouse gas 23 times more potent than CO2. Not ideal. And I forgot, biodegradable plastic can't be recycled. What people don't necessarily understand is that biodegradable doesn't at all mean recyclable. It's actually the opposite. In reality, we need to get rid of a biodegradable plastic bag. It can't be recycled. It has to be discarded, either by sending it to an incinerator or a landfill. So, from an environmental perspective, the notion of biodegradability is very questionable. Add to that, there's no widely accepted norms. So when you see biodegradable written on your packaging, you have no idea what percentage will degrade over what period of time. Basically, it's meaningless. The only reliable standard that exists is the compostable plastic bag. You know those bags made of potato or cornstarch, seaweed? They're recognisable by the logo OK Compost. A promise that your bag will degrade 90% in less than six months if, and it's a big if, they are put in very precise industrial conditions, high humidity and 60 to 90 degrees. But how is your bag going to get to this industrial facility? It only works if someone comes to collect your carrot peels, your eggshells, or in this case, your compostable plastic bag. The amount of bio-waste we collect today is far less than the amount of waste we collect for traditional recycling. What's more, any effort to develop compostable or biodegradable bags won't be effective if we don't have an appropriate sector developed alongside it. One relies on the other. Take a look in Europe. Only the countries in green have a separate collection and composting supply chain. One country leading the way, Italy, where one out of two residents has a service that collects its compost. In Milan, for example, in less than two years, the city became the biggest in Europe to have a system in place. Today, more than 85% of its organic waste, including compostable bags, is collected. But is a solution to the plastic crisis really a new type of plastic? I think today the term biodegradable has a good image. And that's what makes it a little dangerous, because it can lead to people taking less responsibility, based on the idea that because it's biodegradable, I can, for example, throw my wipe in the toilet. If it's biodegradable, I can leave my packaging on the beach. In reality, this packaging is not going to degrade magically on the beach. And this wipe is going to pose problems in a treatment plant. So in my opinion, it's very dangerous because consumers are going to think there's no risk, when in fact it's a product that impacts the environment.
il y a beaucoup de greenwashing autour aujourd'hui de ces termes biodégradables. There is a lot of greenwashing around this word biodegradable. We also hear of plant-based plastic, green plastic. You need to be suspicious of all this as a customer because these terms don't mean much. They're often a marketing strategy implemented by companies which haven't really thought about the life cycle of their product. And what happens is you find yourself in the kitchen with a bioplastic bottle with no option on how to recycle it. The advice I give, which works in all cases, the longer a product lasts, the more we reuse it, the better it is for the environment. You can be sure of that almost every time. Why did plastic bags become so popular in the first place? Partly because they're more durable than paper. And some say if we can't eliminate them entirely, maybe we should go back to basics. Focus less on degradability and concentrate on making them so strong that everyone will use them over and over again.